Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. Today we will be taking a closer look at the first tournament winning deck profile of the starter deck 14 Black Monkey D. Luffy. And yes, you've heard right, the deck has already won the first tournament. And we are going to take a closer look. I'm going to show you some gameplay of this deck. And before we do, just a quick look at what cards are used. So um, the player uh, Atsuki has chosen to go with the Dress Rosa style. So you are having the Sabo blocker, the Bartolomeo blocker, uh, the Seven Coast Luffy, One Leg Toy Soldier, the Rebecca Searcher, of course, the blocker Rebecca, one copy of Mancheri. I am not quite sure if this is really necessary, but it's okay, it's alright. I mean, if you don't like her, you could always change things up. Then we have some SD14 cards, of course. We have the Nico Robin, the Sanji, um, the insanely long name Gungum, Diable Free, Sword Style, Muton Jack, 600 pound cannon, event card, amazing, I love it. The uh, Stage Fast and Sonic card, and the one card spell I have my crew so pretty solid deck we have the cost reduction with kuzan Tsuru, kuzan and Tsuru, and with one leg toy soldier and this is more or less our game plan so and as of now we will be taking some um games with this deck and we will try to see if this is something worth picking up or not so basically the game plan is as the leader wants it to be to gain an 8 cost character and we can uh, do this with our leader ourselves with one dot attached all of your characters get plus one with your thousand sunny stage all of your straw hats get plus one and you have the um, i have my crew event card that one of your characters can get plus three and so on so you are most likely going to be playing around your 7 cost Luffy, your 6 cost Nico Robin and your 5 cost Sanji and maybe your Kuzan and Sabo because they are also high cost characters but most of the times your Sanji, Nico Robin and uh, Luffy are going to be your 8 cost characters because these 3 characters can profit also from uh, the first and sunny stage. I mean, you would also have Brook, but he is a free cost, so this is a bit harder. Basically, this is all you need to know, and we are going to jump into the games right now. Alright, so our opponent is going to be the new OP07 Rob Lucci, and this is just it. <laughs> this is just bad. This this is no hand with this is no hand that we are going to play. So we are oh my god. Uh, I think, I think that this is, um, <laughs> this is, what? What? How? Just how? How can this happen? What? I mean, what? <laughs> and this card again? What is happening? I think that this is, this is some sort of <laughs> message the deck is trying to tell us. I mean... Nico Robin is no bad card by all means, but I don't need four of her in my starting hand. And he goes straight for face. I mean, sure, go for it. I mean, I don't have anything to do. Well, we're now at four. We could be playing the Barto and the Rebecca and then go for face. I think that this would be the most logical thing to do. We can grab ourselves the Sabo, which is nice. Then we can go with the blocker, uh, not Sabo, blocker Bartholomew and go for face. He will most likely counter out of it or take if he needs some cards. Seems like he does. Let's see, maybe we can work around with the with the four of Robins that we got. I mean, we don't really need four, honestly. Just get rid of one. It's always nice to have something in the trash in this deck. So he plays the Sabo blocker. He has Moria and Khalifa in his trash. Spendine and another Robucci. So we could now play the Robin to set it up for our next turn which would be all right we could be playing one robin 
next turn get rid of his Sabo because she would be our 8 cost either way. And then we could KO him with the event card. I think that this would be a nice turn. So this is something that I would consider. So let's attack just with face. Maybe he won't block it because we have all our dons open. If he trashes a hand card, that would be nice. He does. So it's not that bad. We just play our Robin and go on. I think he smelled something. But there was a chance that he would just trash a hand card or even take a life. But I think this is just fine. He is at 7 done now. So he is not in Moria range. He is also missing his stage card, which is really good for us. He just threw away one Rob Lucci. So maybe... Maybe Robin will survive until next turn. She's now a 7 cost character. So he would need to invest a lot to get rid of her. But I think that it would be pretty easy for him to get rid of Bartholomew and... Or Bartholomew and Rebecca. Let's see if he's doing anything. Or if he's gone. Nope. He's going for face. I don't think that I want to use my one-legged soldier right here. And I'm not quite sure with six. I think that I am going to block this. Because he won't be attacking with Sabo either way. And he already gave him the minus cost, so... I just think that he would be gone either way. He is thinking... I mean, okay. I mean, Brook was pretty... <laughs> A pretty high investment for Rebecca but as a character if he doesn't really have anything else to play it's all right I guess but there there were some better options for sure let's think about it. we have a seven cost character right now we could make her an eight cost easily then we could just attack make Sabo a zero cost and then get rid of him for uh, wait we have eight so this would make us a seven this would make us ah sadly we cannot get rid of brook as well we are lacking some dawn but we really need to do this then we are a seven cost swing we could what could be let's just go straight up give Sabo the minus 5. He will be blocking this, I guess. No, he did not choose to block it. He actually... Wow, he threw away... Th Pooh, this is pretty insane because this is now a zero cost. We could give our leader some boost and KO Sabo then we are having minus 3 no sadly we cannot KO Brook but we are in a pretty good spot right now we could be playing Sabo we could just go for face here because he will just take this life he does not have any good hand size anymore I would be pretty surprised if he blocks this because he has a lot of life so this would be the most logical thing to do now yep then we have five cards and i think that it will be safe to play and uh, now the sabo i mean <laughs> we are pretty much pulling all of our cards 
to the maximum. This is insane. Um, I really don't need all Sabos in my hand, but I think that I would be needing the one like Toy Soldier. I don't, f I mean, I have to get rid of Robin because I need Chopper, a uh, bit uh, Chopper, Brook and Sabo. These are my important cards. And I think that I will be playing the Nico Robin also next turn. So I can get rid of uh, another character he plays or get rid of the Brook. He choose to go, okay. I think that I will counter out of this. Because, all right, what's this? <sighs> the Isho. Could we get rid of the Isho card? He is an eight cost. If I play Nico Robin, I can give him minus five. I could actually just play the Nico Robin, attack with Nico Robin, get this to zero, attack this with Nico Robin, and hopefully get rid of Brook with the attack and kill the Isho with Brook. I think that this would be the most logical thing to do now. Of course, we need to attach one to our leader, then this is a seven cost. We need like six and three. <sighs> I should not attach another Dawn because I need six for Robin. I need three for Brook. Now I should attack Brook and give Isho the minus five. What is he going to do? He gets rid of him, which is really nice. So I have nine Dawn open. I can play the Nico Robin, give him another minus five and then play three for the brook i think that this is the best play possible here and then we will be going straight for face all right all right it's working pretty well it's working pretty well he has a lot of hand cards i'm not quite sure <laughs> where his problem is. I mean, he's missing his stage cut, obviously. And what was his hand size? I mean, he had Moria, he had Rob, L he had no counter, sadly. He just pulled the Rob Lucci. I mean, he just bricked. He really bricked. Poo. Mm, that was really bad. But as you guys saw, the deck was really, really strong, even against another black deck, because. Sabo really helped us out and the two Nico Robin really did a great job. We had no problems getting rid of an 8 cost. And what was the other thing uh, of the Sabo, the blocker Sabo in the next turn. So pretty, pretty solid. Okay, we are playing against the black and green Perona. We should be going first. Or at least I want to go first. This is okay, I guess. Peruna plays something small, we could get rid of this easily with Brook and have something for the later part of the game. I think this is okay. We are going to draw something and then with Sabo again. This is okay. I will keep this and I will just end my turn right now. I would have liked maybe another event card instead of my second Brook, but this is okay. So this is the green Vano focused Peruna, which is okay. This is a Searcher Ultima and the Searcher Momonosuke, obviously. What is more threatening? Uh, the Momonosuke, of course. So we will play this, get rid of him and just go straight face. She has five cards left. She does counter with Tsuru. Okay, I think this is pretty okay for nice countering such uh, in such an early state of the game with a two cost. So she will be, I mean, I mean, I could protect it, but I'm not going to do it. Another Mamonosuke, it would be a shame if I would have another Brook in my hand. Could you imagine this? Another Otama, what are you going to do? Searching your whole deck? 
insane. So I could be attacking his Momonosuke, but I think that if we it would be more worth to play Brook, get rid of Momonosuke again, because then I can go for face. Um, I could also... Nah, that would be a waste. That would be a waste. So let's see if... Nah. No, I should get rid of Brook. He would just attack it next turn. Hmm. This is the thing with Peron. I mean, I could just play Brook and go with Face, most likely for 7 and reduce his life to 3. But he would just KO Brook again. I would lose him. I'm not quite sure if I really want this, but I think... Hmm. If I go now with Mamonosuke... He is not going to block it. I mean, that would be pretty insane if he blocks this. He actually drew Ryuma. Yes. I mean, if I play Brook now, he would just rest him and KO him with Ryuma. If I play Sabo, then this would not be possible. So just go straight for Mamonosuke. That's what I thought. Then let's just play him. Hmm. I have my crew is nice because I will be playing Nico Robin. And I don't have my stage card yet. So I guess I will get rid of Rebecca. And... Phew. This is pretty hard. I really should keep Nico Robin de Brook. Tsuru would be pretty important. I think I think I really have to let go of. Hmm. I think I have to go let go of the Toy Soldier. This was no easy decision right here. Maybe this was a mistake, maybe not. Sabo as well, I see. This is okay for us. We are just going to play the Robin next turn. If he attacks with 5, I will block it. If he attacks with 6, I will just uh, take the hit. He does trash Ryuma and Izo. He goes with 6, I will just eat this because I need a few more cards. Mancheri! I could get my Brook. Back to my hand. I could play the Nico Robin now. Mm -hmm. I cannot get rid of his cards. Huh. Yeah, I, I cannot play Robin and the Manchuri in the same turn, sadly. I need this for my next turn. So the most logical thing to do right now, I have seven done, attach one to Luffy. Uh, just go for face, see what he does, and after that, play the Nico Robin. Let's see, let's see. I mean, he has five hand cards. He did not choose to block. He actually counters out of it. This is all right. And we would just play our Robin and end our turn. Next turn we can go as long as Robin survives. Next turn we can go with Robin for face, get rid of his 5 cost, I mean reduce his 5 cost to 0. And then play something like the Brook or maybe even the uh, event card right here. I, if Robin survives, I can get rid of a 5 and a 7 cost. I mean, if he plays a Moria, I could also get rid of Moria. He most likely will. I have 5, I have 7 and I have Deep Brook. So this will be a possibility. I mean, I don't even need Brook. 5 and 7. This is... Yeah, I could also just do it with the event card. I would have broke either way. 
This is okay, this is okay. What does he do? He chooses to go five phase. I really think that he is going to play. I think his idea is to attack with five, so I uh, block with Sabo so that he's rested. Then he will reduce his cost to four just to bring Ryuma back. So I'm not going to do this. I am actually going to throw away the Mancheri so my Sabo is still active. Because I think he will now play Moria, bring back Ryuma and some other card like maybe oh. he attacks with his blocker. Huh. I really don't want to waste Sabo right now. I could. I think I'm just gonna take it. This was nice. Wow. I mean, this was a nice, nice card to get out of life now. <sighs> did I set Moria or did I set Moria? So he is going to... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I see what you did there, my friend. So we got to do this carefully now. We have nine. We could, we could now get rid of his Sabo block. I could actually, he has four cards if i attack sabo nah i need to attack ryuma and sabo to get rid of them and i just need to kill moria with effect so if i attack i cost four or less so i really need i need her to be an eight cost sadly so this is the first thing i really have to do I really need her to be an 8 cost. This is my stage card. Wow. Ugh. If I only had this a turn earlier. So let me think guys. If I attack. If I attack Ryuma right here. I can give Moria the minus 5. And then Moria the minus 5. Then I would need 1 to kill him. So I attack Moria. I attack Ryuma, give him minus 5, then I need to play Tsuru, and then I can, I think that this would be the better option, I need 2 Dawn for my event card, I need 1 Dawn for Tsuru, this leaves me at 5, then I have enough to kill Sabo, wow this is 5, this is 6, and this is 7, 5, 6, 8, amazing, so we are going to play, we are going to do with 7,000 attack the Ryuma and give him the minus 5. What is he going to do? He lets go of it, then we are going to play the Tsuru, give him the minus 7, now he is at 1. Then we are going to play our event card, give him plus 3000 then we are at five we are going to play amazing the sanji get rid of sabo what a turn what a turn amazing and now we are going with eight face holy holy smokes i mean this hurt perona this really hurt him nico robin really really works well in this deck uh, you can be my samurai just to get a few more cards in his hand. This is a really strong card in Perona. Really, really strong. I think next turn we're going to play the Thousand Sunny just to have our Nico Robin always at 8. And to also draw another card. Then we can be a little bit defensive if we need it. We can kill something. Oh, probably not. Depending on what he does. He is going to... What is he going to do? He has 8 dawn open. I mean, what is he going to do? Obviously. He is going to swing 6 now. 
He's going to swing six now. He cannot KO my Nico Robin because she is a nine cost. I mean, he could practically, but with what? Like Ice Age, maybe Ice Age and Ryuma. I mean, pretty easily. I mean, he is thinking as I did last turn. What, what, what? Oh, one leg toy soldier uh, to give my Sabo minus three. And then he did rest my Sabo, in fact, and choose to go six life. I think, do I need to counter out of this or do I keep Bartholomew for the next turn? Um, most likely I'm just going to play, I'm just going to attack something with Nico Robin and maybe KO it with Brooke. I mean, I could get rid of a six cost character. I mean, I should just take it. If you haven't cost 8 or greater up to one of your opponents, cost 5 or less character. Nah, this is not worth for a useless card. Oh, he does KO the two of them. This is pretty unlucky, but it's it's okay. We have minus 5. Wait, let me think. We actually need to play this. Ah, Tsuru is amazing. So we get minus five. This is then a free cost. Then we can play another Tsuru to make him a one cost and then just play Brook. This is amazing. So uh, do we do we play this card? Do we play this card or do we just we could just draw one? I mean, maybe maybe in combination with the Sabo. I think I should just do it like this. Then, then I have eight down left. I should now attack. I only need one with the Zulu to get minus five to one. I need one for Zulu, three for Brook. So this makes us a four. Then maybe play the Bartholomew just to be safe. So one and three and three. This makes a total of seven. So we can actually just go face like this he has a minus five now we will then play the Tsuru to get him to minus seven and then finish him off with brook he does counter out of it amazing this is just this works well for us because he will have uh uh, a small hand size and less life to protect it. Now we are going to play the Tsuru just to get rid of him. Then we are going to play the Brook, get rid of him. Then we have four left. We are going to attach one to our leader. Attack with eight. He is going to take the life. Amazing. And then we are going to be a little bit defensive with our Bartolomeo. Pretty good board state. If I can say so. So he just got another two cards. We are in a pretty good spot right now. Robin is an eight cost. We have a blocker and for next turn we could KO something as well. We could bump up. He did rest Bartolo Bartolomeo. What is he going to do? Ryuma? Okay, okay. He did rest both of them to draw another card. Good turn, good turn. I am a 6k leader boy. You cannot attack. I think that this will uh, happen to a lot of players that they will actually forget that this character has a plus a thousand power as long as you control. And 8 cost. What is he doing? Uh, damn, I cannot block this. I sadly cannot block this. Um, this is really... Hmm. I mean, I have to go over, sadly. Okay. I win. Well, I think that he just <laughs> admitted his defeat. But he was not in a bad spot. 
he could have turned this around. Maybe I'm not quite sure what what will what could be happening next. But guys, you just saw it. The deck is pretty fire. It really works well with the Nico Robin and with all of the cost reducing that you are going to to have. And this is really fun. This is a really fun deck, and I cannot wait to play this myself once it gets released. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe. And we will see each other in the next video. Peace.